Hello everybody, it's Amy and Mama Pam. Hi! We're making our way across Iowa to go to some fun antique places. And now we're at the Brass Armadillo Antique Mall in Des Moines, Iowa. I have been here before. Mama Pam has never been here before. Um, I was last here in July of 2022. So it's been a while and I've been itching to get back in here to see what we may find. So let's go. This place is gigantic. So let's head on in. Look at the cute little stife bears in here and the little stife hedgehog. He's $100. The Annalee Easter duck is 25 such cute faces. Look at all of the poodas. Look at all the poodas in there. That fancy one with her parasol back there in the back. And we've got down here, look at the horses. Those are different. I think those might be Christ, although I've never seen those before, so I'm not sure. Doggos. Oh, this little sewing box is cute. Mom Pam has that in her sewing room. Look at the e perns in here, single horn. Uh, 125 on the pink one. I can't quite make out the tag for the green one, and then so many precious moments. This whole case is just filled with so many pretty pieces of pottery. Roseville, and look at the grouping of Van Briggle pottery here. 400 on that bowl. I have sold three pieces that are in here. Lots of lovely Roseville. Oh my goodness. It just keeps going. It's all the way up. Beautiful pieces in there. This is something that you don't see. Look at this lava tree in the blue glaze. Oh, I love that. It's $200. What pretty blues and the bulbs that go in it. That's awesome. In the same case, they do have some smaller trees. 25 on this one, that's really not that bad. But look at the cactus. How cute is that for $40? They've got a lot up here too. This face is beautiful in the blue opalescent here. They've got $80 on it. They've got $20 on the milk glass mug. We do have some Viking in the um, epic leaf. Um, they've got $25 on that piece. Well, I had to at least get these on camera. So this is an itty bitty, very small. She's much smaller than the typical month angels that we see. This is Napco. Very hard to find series. She's $35. Um, I don't think I'm gonna pick her up. And the one back here is 42 but I at least had to film her because she's darling cute. Look at little Thinker Cube. So cute, $49. It says as found, so seems like there's some sort of damage with him, but my goodness, he's cute. Well, this piece is on my personal want list. This is a Napco reindeer little planter. They do have several other pieces that match him, but at $140, I just, I can't do it, but He's really, really cool to see in person. Lots of cuteness in this case. Look at the little Campbell soup kids. So cute, the horseman dolls. They're $30 a piece. Cute little tin with those set. Ohio art for 25. I see a rumple squeak lamb back there for $10. So yeah, we're gonna get in this case. And then this is a Ruthie Newton squeak pup. Um, matches her illustrations. Uh, sun rubber. So I can't quite see the tag on him, so we're gonna have to get in here and give him a look over. I spied two more rumples, a little lamb rattle, and then this duck down here. So yeah, we're getting in this case. Okay, so the Ruthie Newton squeak pup that was down here was eight dollars. I did get the duck that was down here and um, fleecy the lamb that was back there, but the rattle has is hardened. And then there was a break in the stem that had been super glued. So I'm leaving that one behind. I've only seen a couple of these. I think Springfield, I think Springfield, there was a display of some of these um, finials and uh, they just don't come around very often. So it's cool that they have a few here. It looks like they're all $45.99. Look at this house. It's all wood and paper decals. 
There you go. Really cool. It says Bliss House, 275. Check out all these amazing vintage alarm clocks. Look at the one with the deer on it. And the puppy and the hot air balloon. There's a cat and a bunny and seals. Little girls feeding the chickens. How cool are those? I don't think I've ever seen, oh my gosh, there's more. I don't think I've ever seen this many alarm clocks in one place, probably somebody's collection. Really, really cool. Look at all of the cameos. These are much older cameos that are in here. Um, there's one vendor that we see that sets up in Utica, Michigan that has a much smaller collection of these that she sells. The prices are kind of all over the place. The one in front here is $265. It kind of depends on the size, I believe. Um, $325. Look at the the setting that that one's in. That's really pretty. $325 on that one. $270 on the one next to it. These are gorgeous. There's so many in here. Look at all the fun little faces peeking out in here. Oh my goodness. So many cute ones. Oh, let we go up here. We've got those little angel candle huggers are super cute. We've got some Gilner Pixies. We've got some Lefton Devils, $39.50. They do have their pitchforks, so that's always good. Fenton Angel right here on the front, $39.50. Oh, and a Fenton polar bear. I don't think I've ever seen a polar bear. $80. Oh, look at this. Kant's bluebird. We do have, oh my goodness, look at the swung bases in here. Wow. Beautiful. Um, the biggest Ellie Smith in the back is $225. Um, the amber is $210. Beautiful, really old pieces in here. 195 on the pink in the front. There's a gorgeous pickle caster back there with the fork. Here's another one in the front. 250 they've got on that one. These are really nice. I like the pink. And then look at all the Vaseline glass pieces that they have in here. I love the butter dish. 95. I spied some Kitchmas. Look at this little wood. I've seen one of these before, 950 that they have on it. Little Shawnee Pixie there. We do have a Harold Gale Santa. He's got a little paint loss on his nose. He's $35. Not bad. Not bad. The spun cotton Santa there is 14. I probably will get him out. Lefton. Snowman and Snowwoman Shakers here. That box is awesome that they're in. I see a paper mache bunny peeking out back there. So much fun stuff. There's a candy container Santa. He's 15. Look at these cute little angel babes. They are 18. Very fun. Oh, I like that Maleficent glass. I can't tell how much. Look at all the fun marbles that they have in here too. Love it. All right, look at this collection of collar clips. Really nice one. Look at this micro mosaic heart. It's $12. I kind of feel like I need to get it. I've never seen a heart-shaped one before, and it's $12. Lots of really pretty jewelry in this case, too. Rings and brooches. Let me spy some Christmas trees back in there. There's some more. Oh my goodness, look at this one. This wreath style one. These look like to be $15. There's another micro mosaic brooch. Okay, so we have the normal size cootie game. And then we have cootie on steroids. $145. Oh my gosh, that's cool. These purses remind me of Catherine Young. I know she collects purses. $235 on the Lucite one here in the front. Um, $55. Oh, that's a termite, ter termite holder, not a purse. <laughs> look at this piece. I think that's an inkwell. I don't know how much that is, but look at the bunny and the chick. That's fantastic. Look at this derpy fair prize deer. He's kind of dirty. 
He's also $35. I'm not gonna get him, but he's really cute. Look at this paperweight. It's very different shaped. I normally see. It's kind of different. Look at that. How do they do that? $34.99 on that. I found this gorgeous sewing tin box. It does have stuff in it, so we're going to look at it together. It's $23 for the entire tin. So let's see what's in here. Some sewing notions. Lots of threads, some pins. Uh, pinking shears are in there. That's cool. The tin is gorgeous. I love that. I've never seen that tin before. Look at this polyester flower frock. Awesome. It's $50. Oh, I love that. I totally would wear something like that. Some fun mid-century glass and decor. And this one, I spy a Viking long tail bird. Up here, they've got $60 on it. I hardly ever see those. Oh, they have two that don't have broken tails. This is Viking right here too. 22 on that. I love that peacock blue. It's my favorite Viking color. You find some Barbie clothes? Yeah. Like $5. actual Barbie clothes actual or actual vintage handmade Barbie, Barbie clothes? Not handmade. So you want to look for most of them have the little tag that says Barbie yeah. or Ken on them, right? This one says Skipper. This is Skipper's little robe. Yeah, these are great prices compared to oh some of the gosh. prices that we see at the doll show. Oh, this is the whole set. It has the little accessories that come with it, too, for five bucks. Wow. No, this is the skating outfit. Yeah, but I mean, it's got the accessories taped to the dress. Yeah. Little jacket's cute with the fur trim. That's cute. Um, what are you looking for? Um... Just pieces to complete things, like skiing. Look how tiny that is. Is that for Skipper? No, that's Barbie's, but it's all broken. broken. Dang it. Corduroy pants. Mom says that usually the Ken pants, the crotch is blown out because his legs were so wide. You've had to repair quite a few pieces, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, there's that little... I remember seeing that at the doll show. Yeah. Cute. Little apron. She wore that to babysit. Oh. Little folding chairs. How cute are those? Mm -hmm. cute. Also looks to be... Well, three complete chairs and a seat of another one. Well, those are some thigh high boots. There's a little hat in this one. I do love a trash can. Look at the blingy. She's got rhinestones. She's missing a few on the parasol. $30 for that trash can. Look at the lucite. Sculptural mushrooms with the brutalist leaves in there. $54.99. I've never seen a piece like that. Look at these darling little mice. Oh my heck. I see the one's got a little flea bite on the ear. Super cute. $10. Oh man. These just tug at my heart. I can't help it. I mean, I can paint touch up that little flea bite on the ear, and I see he's got a little nick out of his nose. But take me home. Take me home. Okay. All right. You talk me into it. Oh, my gosh. I spied these from down the aisle. I couldn't get down here quick enough. Oh, my gosh. These are left in. Both of them are left in. I have had this piece a few years ago, 50 bucks. And this one, it's usually paint that's the issue on this one. It looks pretty good. 75. That's fair. That's very fair with that. Man, there's no sale going on in this booth. Oh, gosh. I have... Uh, this is just a piece you don't see. 
uh, I don't know. I cannot remember. It's been so long since I've been here. If they do a percent off, if it's over a certain amount, I can't remember if it has to be over 50. Um, uh, we're going to put it in the cart. Look at the rubber face. Cuties. What do we got? 29.50. That's really not bad for Yogi. Um, his hat's kind of iffy up there. The problem is the vintage felt. Once it gets stained, you can't really do anything with it. You can't wash it because it tends to shrink. 34 and Huckleberry Hound. So we're going to leave them here, but they're fun to see. I spy a little Edward Mobley, squeaky girl in the yellow. She's so cute. She doesn't really squeak. She's 1550. No sales in this booth. So I think I'm going to leave her behind. I had to get these on camera. Look at these beaded purses and the very old souvenir beaded pieces. These look to be in fantastic condition. I cannot see what the prices are, unfortunately. If you guys saw my epic lady head auction, I'll, uh, I'll leave a, an, a link to it. I'll put an iCard here. Um, if you haven't seen it, um, it was an epic auction of uh, many, many hundreds of lady head vases. And uh, these two are also at the auction. We've got Jackie O and Lucille Ball, this one right here, very valuable. Um, let's look at the prices. 200, yep, very fair. I think this one sold at auction for 275. I rem it, it was close to that, but this one sold for the most at auction, 300. So yeah, if you ever run across either of these, they hold a great, great value. Secret storage, what in the world? Oh, it's a little Seven Dwarves pencil case. Secret. That's funny. It's $20. Fun. There's a lot of interesting things. I feel like I bought something from this booth. This is a cute pixie planter. Obviously, it's got some calcification in there. $25 on that. They have some really nice kitchen things in here. Really nice salt and pepper shakers. Look at all of these. Oh my gosh, look at the mushroom one, and look at the daisy afghan. How much do they have on this? $38, that's really not that bad. I love the owls. Oh, I spy a little yellow prixie. How much are you, sir? $6, yes, 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 we're taking you home. Oh my gosh, look you guys, Royal Rudolph Stunt Q, beware. Oh, I don't see any chips on it, and it's only $12. Yay! Look at this awesome poodle. I love the fur on that. It's $22. And look at the cute little puppy with the tomato can. $24. All right, so I have been digging in postcards for probably way too long. But I'm going to show you the ones that I'm going to get. Unfortunately, they didn't have any QP postcards. But look at the little Easter pixie postcards. Um, this one has a postmark of 1917. And look at this one with them and the bunny. Oh my gosh. This one doesn't have a postmark on it. And then I'm picking up, this is a little Palmer Cox brownie little card that is, um, I'm picking that up for Michael at the Cult of Vintage. I spied some Arnart elephants. These are fun to see. So it's not the traditional family that we see. They are $45. Um, so like we usually see the loop is at the front of the big one and then the two babies are hooked to the side. These actually are supposed to hook together on the tails. So this one hooks together on the big one's tail and then this one hooks to this one's tail. Um, you know, if the chains were still there, but that's how those are supposed to be. This kitschy Santa that somebody made out of folding a book and cotton balls. He's pretty cool. He's $30. Lots of animals in this one. They're divided by animals. We've got the doggos. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, it's chalkware. All right, I thought it was styrofoam. It's not, it's very heavy. It's $14.95. Meow, meow. And we've got some mice, cows, elephants, owls, unicorns, briar horses. 
the birdie section. Tweet, tweet. Chickens. Oh, these are nice. Really plastic deer, $9.95. Don't really see anything for me in here. I love all these tone spice tins. These are great to decorate with at Halloween for very easy pops of Halloween colors. The prices on these are actually really good. Usually when I see these, they're about double that price. Really pretty glass in this one. Um, let's take a peek here. What do we have? 32. That's not bad. Um, I can't really get safely at the big one blue in here. A little bit more spendy. How much is the little melon? $40. Okay. We do have some turquoise Fenton. $265. And that. A little jadeite. Action. $23.99. Okay, we've got another one. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know. That one doesn't have a tag on it. I like the pink. Oh, look at this gold speckling. That's really fun. Oh, look at the snail. He's a perfume bottle. Probably Avon. Yeah, $23.99. Some green. Some more blue. Oh, I love the turquoise. I just love the teal. That's $64. Really nice pieces in here, though. Well, I just keep coming across glass. Look at those vases up there. Whoa. Got a Viking epic drape here. One, uh, 129 on that one. 135 on the thumbprint. And then the big Ellie Smith. 179 That's really not that bad for that size. Look at this. Franciscan tulip. Gosh, that's pretty. They've got $30 on the teapot and $15 on the platter there. And then this goes really nicely with it. Um, $39 on the little pedestal. I like the salt and pepper shakers. Those are $14.95. Got a lot of the little Royal Dalton Beatrice Potter pieces in here. Very cute. So see they've got $16.95 that's a pretty good price usually I see these in the 20s and 30s look at this gorgeous mirror with the ivy got $69 on it it's heavy it's really cool too here's one that we don't see everywhere this is uh this is Kanawa glass and believe it or not uh under a black light this thing lights up like a Christmas tree $42.95 on that. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is such a, a rare, I don't say that very often, rare planter. Um, it's a Narco. They have a yellow bird version of this as well. I don't see any damage on it at all. It's $23 and well worth it. So yes, we're going to put that in the cart. I had to get these guys on camera. Mama Skunk and her little stankers. Oh, her little six babies. It's $27, so I'm not going to get it, but I had to put them on camera. Oh my gosh, we finally reached the last aisle. We got here at 2 p.m., and it's 5 o'clock. So, yeah, and we're still, still going. It's still going. The little babies in the carriage. This little, she's kind of cute. I These are always in terrible shape. Anytime I see them, their faces and or their forehead is usually dented in. It's $10, which isn't bad. I don't think I'm going to get her. But look at this giant composite baby doll. She is $12 is all. How cute. I love this Royal Copley green deer planter. I love that color green. $40 on that piece. That's about what they go for. So I spied some Halloween tambourines out here where you can touch them. This is a JHN 85 on that one. Great graphics. I don't have anywhere to put them. And then the black cat one is made in New Jersey. Um, Life of the Party products. Really nice condition. 
95 on that one. And then, sorry for the noise there. Um, the pumpkin one has really nice graphics on it. 38, but check this out. This was on the same shelf, but I have been doing research on it. Um, this is a Palmer Cox brownie spinning movie top. Now, I found a couple other variations that were not brownies. They had like circus animals or a train because I was like, is this missing a piece? Um, and they all look exactly the same, but I don't I don't really know too much about it. I just know it's, it's really cool. It's $18, and I just... I don't know, man. And it also says that the vendor is offering a discount. So you have to ask at the front how much the discount is. So I feel like I've got to get it. Oh, look at all these cute books. Oh my gosh. I see Ruthie Newton back here. We got Mother Goose. Of course, you guys know I love Ruthie Newton. $3.99. Oh my gosh. This store is going to make me broke. <laughs> I'm finding so much good stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a Ruthie Newton coloring book. I have I have one of these at home. It looks like it's in kind of rough shape. 350. I don't think I'm gonna get the coloring book. But we've got little red riding hood. She's cute. Mother Goose. There's some other those look like song books back there. We've got animal ABCs. That one looks a little rough, too. So I think we're just going to get Ruthie Newton there. Look at this beautiful painted green set. Oh my word. They have 225 on it. It is stunning. Oh my word. We got here at 2 o'clock. We literally walked out the door at 5.30. So we were in there three and a half hours. It was better than the last time I was here my goodness um so i got a discount on the lefton valentine lovebird box um i got 20 percent off of that i also got a discount on that palmer cox brownie spinning top um uh, i can't remember oh that was 20 percent off as well and i also got a discount on that adorable red birdie planter which made it twenty dollars so that was a steal found so much good stuff in there um very pleased so mama pam found some really good stuff in there too um yeah uh, i hope you guys had fun following along with us let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that i filmed in there what was your favorite thing that i picked up or did I leave something behind that I shouldn't have? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And as a reminder, you can always check out the community tab here on my channel for upcoming live sales and item previews. I do have a live sale every single Wednesday on Mother Tucker's Antiques YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed over there. And that is called Fantastic Finds every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So come on over and say hi. We'd love to see you down in the chat. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.